Hi gamers and welcome to a short but performance dedicated video on The Witcher 3 and another update. Yes, we are on version 8 now, or at least version 7 I think. We're now in sync from the PC and the console versions. But as it stands at the moment, the PC version and I believe the Xbox One version had some issues last time from 107. I didn't actually te get to test it myself, so I'm not too sure. But this is the 108 version. I don't have the 107 to test it against, but it's kind of a mute point now anyway. So here we are up against the two new ones. Now, the PS4 version and obviously the Xbox One now has a new option, I think, from 107 where you can now turn off blur and motion blur within the uh, display menu. But that looks to be DOF and obviously motion blur within the game. So what I've done is I've tested the PS4 version and the Xbox One version with this on and off. You can see the PS4 version running here. Both versions, left and right, are still 108, one off, one on, and it makes hardly any difference. Really, the difference you're seeing is just whereabouts in the game that the actual issues are arising. You can see it still has that dip right down to 20 or 19 at the lowest point you get on this video again and it just holds stable at that point where the engine is just tying itself in knots now it needs to be stressed that this only seems to happen at the bog area or anywhere where there's lots of storms and water and AI jumping around it's not consistent throughout the game, but obviously there is a few dips. The PS4 version still has issues with the streaming side, as you can see riding here next to the Xbox One version. It now dips and chugs more often and more regularly. It drops a frame here and there and probably a few more. Now the Xbox One version is not removed from this. It does happen. You can see here as it kicks in when I'm loading some of these AI characters as we go into the battle it drops a few frames. It drops a few more when it's loading some updates to the actual character settings and obviously the update characters of the game. But again it all looks CPU related. Now the PS4 doesn't seem to have loads of issues with GPU related work. It's not to say that some of it is GPU bound because obviously overdraw on textures, particle effects do cause some issues. But by and large both versions seem to have issues with the CPU more than anything else. Most likely the middleware solution is helping them a little bit as the engine is fighting over which CPU core gets used where. I think the Microsoft deals helped a little bit here with Microsoft engineers getting involved in the coding side of it, along with CJ Project Red's familiarity with DirectX 11, which helps the PC and the Xbox One version out, and it's their first game on the PS4. So it's the first time they've had to ship a game in anger with the PS4's API, and I'm sure that's got something to do with it. Now generally it's not very bad, but like I say, overall in combat you can see the PS4 version kind of holds its own, the Xbox One seems to struggle a little bit more when you've got the fire effects going on, but generally by and large the Xbox One is the more stable of the two still and not a great deal of performance improvement has happened since the original release. The texture streaming certainly looks a little bit better, it's not quite as obvious as the popping now but overall the performance hasn't really improved and this 108 doesn't look like it's going to fix the issues that the PS4 drops to this solid lock double buffered 20 that everyone keeps talking about. Um, again like I say it's a symptom, it's not the cause, it just happens because the engine has issues, it generally can drop frames more frequently than just the two dropped ones you get when that happens happens. The game really needs quite a lot of work to get patched up and working at a solid 30. I don't believe that any more patches are going to really fix this issue. It's too long in the tooth now from when it was originally released. The sales are done. There's more DLC coming from CG Project Red. The game is probably being finished by a great more people now than it ever will be going forward. So I don't believe there's going to be any great fixes that can be achieved on that. That said, like I say, this is all an isolated incident. These kind of issues are the worst case scenario. They're not indicative of the entire game. But if you have a copy, I'm sure it's still enjoyable, but I don't really believe that turning the motion blur options on and off is making any difference to the performance. It really is down to your personal preference, and they're not even that intrusive anyway, so you might as well leave it on. As it stands at the moment, I believe that the PS4 version still doesn't really succeed in achieving its consistent rate and the Xbox One I've got among the console versions is still the more stable. But if you've got a decent PC, it's still the best place to play this game as you would expect. As always, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this. If you did, then please hit that like and subscribe button because I really appreciate it. And I'll leave you with a few more minutes of footage to see you out. I'll see you very soon on the next one.
That arse is whipped like an open black hole. Swords could take on four. <laughs>